Introduction As we have already discussed that reproduction is the ability of all organisms to produce young ones similar to themselves in most of characters. Yes, Madhuri, and the process which involves fusion of male and female gametes to form a new individual is known as sexual reproduction. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define sexual reproduction Understand the sexual reproduction in flowering plants Understand structure of flower Identify structure and types of seeds Understand structure of unisexual flower Identify structure of bisexual flower Understand structure of neuter flower. Identify monoecious and dioecious plants. Understand functions of flower. Identify structure and types of inflorescence. Understand process of pollination and its types. Understand process of fertilization. Identify structure of ovule. Understand process of syngamy. Understand process of triple fusion. Understand process of double fertilization. Significance of sexual mode of reproduction. Sexual reproduction promotes diversity of characters in the offsprings. It results in new combination of genes brought together in the gamete and this reshuffling increases genetic variation. It plays a prominent role in the origin of new species of combining DNA from two individuals during reproduction. Sexual reproduction in flowering plants. In the early stage, the plants are just leafy or in vegetative phase and when they grow and reproduce or are in reproductive phase, the flowers are born. Therefore, we can say that Flowers are the reproductive parts of plant body. The flower. A flower is brightly colored reproductive part of a plant. The stalk of flower is called pedicel. Swollen flat tip of pedicel forms the thalamus. The four types of floral leaves, sepals, petals, stamens and carpel appear from thalamus. Sepals and petals are non-essential parts of a flower for reproduction, while stamens and carpels constitute the essential parts of a flower and contain the germ cells. Sepals or calyx are green and form the outermost whorl of flower. Petals or corolla lie next to sepals. They are usually colored to attract the insects for pollination. Stamens or androsium are next to petals. Each stamen is made up of stalk-like filament and flattened knob like anther. Anther bears pollen sacs which produce pollen grains. Stamens represent the male part of the flower. Carpal or gynosium is the female part of flower and forms the central part of a flower. Carpal shows basal swollen ovary, middle elongated style and upper knob-like part called stigma. Ovary bears ovules which are converted into seeds. The fruits encloses and protect seeds. Seeds Seeds are matured ovules. Seeds contain an embryo and reserve food which is used by developing embryo at the time of seedling formation. A mature seed is made up of two important parts. Seed coat, embryo. Seed coat is hard layer which protects the internal parts of seed. Embryo is made up of radical, plumule and cotyledons. Radical forms young root and plumule forms young shoot. Seeds are monocotyledonous when they have one or dicotyledonous when they have two cotyledons. 
Seeds may be endospermic when they have endosperm or non-endospermic when they do not have endosperm. Activity Let us conduct an activity to clearly understand the structure of seed. We will soak few seeds of Bengal gram and few seeds of maize and keep them overnight. Next day morning we will drain the excess water and cover these seeds with wet cloth for a day. Next day we will cut open both types of seeds into halves. We observe that Bengal gram seed has seed coat, radical, plumule and two cotyledons, while May seed has seed coat, radical, plumule and one cotyledon. Unisexual flowers Flowers that bear either stamen or pistil are called unisexual. Example, papaya, watermelon, bisexual flowers. Flowers that contain both stamen and pistil are termed as bisexual or hermaphrodite. Example, pea, hibiscus and mustard, neuter flowers. Plants in which flowers lack both stamen or pistil are known as neuter. Example, mango, cashew, monoecious and dioecious plants. Plants that bear both types of unisexual flowers are called monoecious plants. Example, maize, cucurbit and castor. Plants that bear one type of unisexual flowers are called dioecious plants. Example, date palm, mulberry, functions of a flower. Flower bears male sex organs stamen and female sex organs carpels. Flower is the part of the plant that takes part in sexual reproduction. Ovary matures to form fruit and contains seeds. Inflorescence. Flowers do not always occur singly. The flowers which are small in size often occur in clusters. An axis bearing a cluster of flowers is known as inflorescence. It may be terminal or axillary. Cauliflower is a very good example of inflorescence. Pollination A new seed of the plant is formed when male gamete present in a pollen grain unites with the female gamete present in the ovule. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a stamen to the stigma of a carpel. The pollen grains are transferred by many agents such as insects, birds, man and water. Pollination is of two types. Self-pollination, cross-pollination. When the pollen grains from anther of a flower are transferred to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of same plant, it is known as self-pollination. When the pollen grains from anther of a flower are transferred to the stigma of another flower of another plant of same species, then it is known as cross-pollination. Fertilization. After a pollen grain falls on stigma, the next step is fertilization. Fertilization is the fusion of male and female gametes to form a zygote. During sexual reproduction, this happens in following steps. When a pollen grain falls on the stigma of the carpel, it bursts open and grows a pollen tube downwards through style towards the female gamete in the ovary. Two male gametes are formed in pollen tube. A male gamete moves down the pollen tube. The pollen tube enters the ovule in the ovary. The tip of the pollen tube bursts open and male gamete comes out of the pollen tube. In ovary, the male gamete of pollen combines with the nucleus of female gamete or egg present in ovule to form a fertilized egg 
called zygote. After fertilization, the zygote divides several times to form an embryo within the ovule. The ovule then develops a tough coat and gets converted into a seed. The seed is the reproductive unit of a plant. It contains a future embryo which develops into seedling. Ovule A minute structure in seed plants containing the embryo sac and surrounded by the new cellus which develops into a seed after fertilization. It consists of three parts. The integuments forming its outer layers, the new cellus or megasporangium and megaspore-derived female gametophyte or megagametophyte in its center. The megagametophyte, also called embryo sac in flowering plants, produces an egg cell or several egg cells in some groups for fertilization. After fertilization, the ovule develops into a seed, syngamy. One of the male gametes fuses with egg to form diploid zygote. It is called syngamy. Triple fusion. Second male gamete fuses with secondary nucleus to form primary endosperm nucleus. This is called triple fusion because three nuclei are involved in the fusion process. One male gamete and two polar nuclei. Double fertilization. The process of fertilization, which occurs twice in the same embryo sac at a time by two male gametes, syngamy and triple fusion, is called double fertilization. Did you know pollination by birds is called orinthophily? In hydrophilus flowers, pollen grains are light but covered with wax. Edible pollen are produced by rosa, magnolia and clematis. Zostera bear longest pollen about 2500 mu meter long, while smallest pollen is of myosotis about 2.5 to 3.5 mu meter long. Erythrina is pollinated by crows and squirrels. Hay fever is caused due to allergic reaction to the presence of pollen in air. Parthenogenesis is defined as a development of egg without fertilization. Process of fruit without fertilization is called Parthenocarpy. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The reproductive parts of a higher plant are located in a flower. Stamen is the male reproductive part of a plant. Carpal is present in the center of a flower and is the female reproductive part. The transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called pollination. Pollination is of two types, self-pollination and cross-pollination. The ovary ripens to form a fruit. The fruit dehyses to release the seeds. Each seed contains a future plant and on germination produces a new individual.